I'm Kevin Berger. When a child is diagnosed with cancer, families face a wide variety of often formidable challenges. Thankfully, the Pinky Swear Foundation is there to lend a helping hand. Formerly known as Miracles of Mitch Foundation, the organization provides immediate financial and emotional support for families during this time of crisis. Brian Nelson is the executive director for the Pinky Swear Foundation and joins us for this segment of Newsmakers. Thanks for being here, Brian. Happy to be here. So a child has cancer such a horrible thing to contemplate, but we know it happens every day. They have doctors, uh, we have health insurance, we have a, a support network for people. What is the, what is the money that is that, that they still need beyond uh, the health care? Well, the financial implications are significant for families with a child diagnosed with cancer. The average age of a child being diagnosed with cancer is six. The average length of treatment is two years. The average family will spend 25% of their disposable income on non-medical needs just to get the child to and from treatment and while they're in treatment. And one out of 11 families with a child diagnosed with cancer will file for bankruptcy. It's a horrible spin on the dial of life and we try to help those families the best we can and take a little bit of the edge off the financial costs that yes, they're facing. Yes, that seems so wrong. So yes. what are the sorts of things that you can, you can provide for those families? Sure, we provide um, mortgages, transportation, uh, rent payments, utilities. We've paid for lift chairs. We've um, rebuilt, uh, redone carpeting in people's homes because of the allergies that they may be hmm. facing because of the reduced immune system. A variety of different things um, to help them get through the, the crisis that they're facing. I'm sure when you talk to people about your work and you say with the Pinky Swear Foundation, I, such a intriguing name, where does that come from? Well, it came from the, the original story about the foundings of the Miracles of Mitch Foundation was that when nine-year-old Mitch Chipokas was diagnosed with cancer, he was in treatment during the holiday season and the family next to him was having an argument because they didn't have any money for Christmas. So Mitch looked at his dad and said, Dad, this isn't fair. And his dad said, you know, Mitch, it's kind of their thing. And Mitch said, Dad, how much money do I have in the bank? And his dad's like, I'm not sure. And Mitch goes, it's my money, right? And his dad says, yes. And Mitch goes, let's go get it. So they hopped in his wheelchair and went to the bank and pulled out all the money that Mitch had in his savings account, put it in $100 bills, and put them in envelopes and wrote, love Mitch on all of them, and then went back to the hospital and delivered them from room to room to room and gave the most amount of money to the last family that he was there, put them on nightstands, under the doors, put them on beds, whatever they needed to do. As they were wheeling away from the last room, Mitch looked at his dad and said, Dad, that's the most fun I've ever had. And this is a nine-year-old boy. And his dad looked at him and said, that's great, Mitch. And Mitch looked at his dad and said, let's do it again next year. And Steve looked at Mitch and said, you know, buddy, you're probably not going to be in here next year. Your, his prognosis, Mitch's prognosis wasn't good because of the type of cancer he had. So then Mitch looked at him and said, Dad, promise me you'll do it next year if I'm not here. And his dad said, sure, Mitch, I'll do it next year. And he said, Dad, promise me you'll do it forever. And his dad's like, okay, Mitch. And then he said, pinky swear, promise me that you'll do it forever. So they did a pinky swear promise. And after that, um, Steve committed to helping families for the, as long as he was alive. Mitch passed away the following April. Since then, Miracles of Mitch um, Foundation and the Pinky Swear Foundation has given away more than $5 million to help these families meet these non-medical needs that they have. So it really is kind of a sacred thing, isn't it? it? It's the most solemn of oaths between individuals is that Pinky Swear. So. Mm -hmm. There we yeah. go. Yeah. So now this is, uh, you're working in other communities beyond uh, here in the, in the metro area. Correct. We have a unique model of what we do and feel that there's families all across the country that need this kind of help. So we've been expanding into other markets and want to create, provide the services and support we have in other markets across the country. If people want to learn more about the Pinky Swear Foundation, their events, work they're doing, how you can support their work, it's pinkyswear.org. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.